Hello, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Today's question comes all the way from Germany, from Mr. Schenkel, who wants to know what my opinions are concerning fungi. Now, it should come as no surprise to many of you that I actually wrote on fungus a great number of times. In fact, I have an entire series of poem entitled Fungi from Jogoth. You can look it up. My fascination with all manner of fungus, whether it's mushrooms, mold, spores, anything, stems from the unique interstitial space that these species seem to inhabit. They exist in a sort of liminal world, if you will, between living and dead, plant and animal, sessel and mobile. They reproduce via invisible processes, and yet we still sense them everywhere. They manage to inhabit almost every corner of the globe that is not completely inimical to life. And yet, their actions are almost alien, disturbing. They are corpse eaters, necrotic. They give off pungent stenches that stimulate the imagination, capture the mind's eye. Is it any wonder that we who dwell in the realm of macabre fiction can take such grand inspiration from these small yet powerful things? And if that weren't enough, in the culinary pursuits we see that they are both flavorful and poisonous, often at the same times. So, I make no apologies for being absolutely delighted by these curious creatures. And following up your second question, uh, Mr. Schenkel uh, discovered that in his cellar was a unique species of mushroom uh, in the shape of human faces, and wants to know whether he should be serving them to his guests for dinner. Now, there all are all sorts of uh, responses one could have. Uh, one simply has to keep in mind, no, of course not. That is terrible. Fumigate the entire area at once, or, barring that, brick up your cellar and never speak of it again. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you.